the liars on your pants and when was the last time we recorded it was definitely before this wire was on my pants oh uh, yeah it was hey. like about two months ago yeah hi we, we're been... still here we're we are alive yeah um we exist we do exist we just don't exist in florida anymore we're just an entirely different state can you think about that yeah well, quite literally we're in a different state of being but also in a different state in the country a better state because we moved from florida and months uh the last time we i think the last time we recorded i want to say it was like in may or june it was definitely june right after i got my job offer Okay, so it was in June. It was in June. Okay. But welcome welcome back to Sun and Neos Gaming. We're yeah. still playing uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Yeah, we're, we're, we're Pennsylvanians now. We're not Floridians anymore. Anyway. Yeah, we are playing... Oh my god, let me see if I... Am I playing? Or you? No, it's yours. Okay, I thought so. But it's good. It's been so long that I... Um, Sultan asked me this morning if I remembered how to play the game, and I was just like, "Well, I'm just gonna wing it." And now I'm now I'm wondering, like, do I still remember how to play this? I think I do. I think it'll be okay. Oh, but it's gonna be fine. Please bear with any like major hiccups because it's been a while. I mean, they 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 bear with the channel so far. Okay. I think we're exclusively about hiccups. That, that's pretty much it. So we have one of those star I mean, things. Our, our setup wasn't working when I originally wanted to record. Yeah. So I had to go fix that. Yeah, but it's okay. We're here. We're up and running. and It it's, seems it's... to be, you know, things are oh. things are fine. Okay. All right. So, okay. So it seems like I'm okay. I've got... Um, All health everybody's seems to be in, in full check. Health. Okay, the gale force thing. Well, I totally forgot how to... Head bonk, title, multi bonk, uh, shell toss, power shell. Okay. Oh, no, no. I wanted to keep looking. Gear? The last thing I remember in this game is um, Princess Peach being hit on by a computer. Oh, we apparently um, we can set more BP remaining three. So I could set something. What's this? Increases maximum FP by five wearing two more of these badges. Uh, why don't I just do that? So, um, why for equipped badges? So now I've got, okay. So I've got power smash with this to use power smash, close call, um, okay, multi bounce. This is important. Happy heart, nostalgic tunes. Oh, that's cute. Piercing blow, two FP required, and then FP plus, increase max HP by five, FP by five. I feel like nostalgic tunes and a happy heart just kind of go hand in hand. That's so cute, isn't it? All right. I mean, I didn't grow up with a GameCube, but I had a bunch of friends who had GameCubes and I thought they were pretty cool. You can just like, that little handle you can just take from like house to house. Oh, that's and nice. I, I did like playing Super Smash Brothers with uh, friends in middle school. Oh. Wait. It looks like we haven't tattled much. Oh, have, we haven't seen a whole lot of enemies well, yet. A lot of enemies are kind of like, it's obvious what you need to do, like what their weaknesses might be. Let me just make sure I remember the... Okay, I guess... It seems it won't open. Okay, but I see a, a pipe. Yeah, while we were moving, it was really hard to find time to sit down and record our show. Because as laid back and chill as it is, it does take a lot of effort and time to put together. Yeah. And we had so much to move. Like, we, we packed up an entire house. Oh my gosh, yeah. Packed and, it up. Um, drove it drove in the hall. 15 plus hours. But it ended up being 18 20... hours. Oh, okay. But I I, had to, I, had, I drove a 26 foot U Haul truck, and I, I love driving trucks. I don't mind. I do find it surprising that U Haul lets you rent those with no training. Like, with trucks those size. I mean, they're not terribly difficult to drive, but. 
we were moving in the middle of that uh, hurricane that came through uh, Florida, like through the Panhandle area. And we basically followed it all the way up to Pennsylvania as it yeah. moved up the East Coast. So, yeah. and I'm normally fine driving um, in, you know, severe weather conditions, but driving a U-Haul that's really susceptible to being pushed all over the road by wind gusts is not comfortable, especially when you have a lot of fragile things in the car, like, for example, all of the consoles that we own yeah. were in the back of that truck. Um, we had a piano that got broken. So, yeah, that that broke my heart a little. Like I meant to practice I mean, this week, but yeah, it just I, happened. I don't, yeah, and I don't even know. Like I haven't checked like all the consoles or like all of our things for like the extent of the damage. The U-Haul was definitely leaking too. That, yeah. that was something I was not happy about. Is because it was raining like the entire trip, and uh, a lot of our stuff just got kind of water damaged. So, mm. but. Uh, we're gonna we'll take a picture um, of the setup, or take a little video of our setup. It's a very humble, modest setup because you know we're not we're not super high tech. We're just like we're a little high tech. Oh shoot, he's an enemy. I went to go talk to oh, him. Oh yeah, he looked like an NPC to me I was, too. Yeah. I think he's one of those like because um, Bowser's not the main enemy in this. It's like that egghead guy, like from Sonic or whatever. Yeah. These guys are his little, um, his little helpers. Yucks and X- oh, it's an x knot. okay. Okay, I need- Okay, From I don't- I recall, she has some pretty good attacks. Yeah, no, she really didn't, though. I don't understand that. Okay, I did nothing. Um, I'm gonna switch. Ouch. Jeez, that hurt. Oh. Yeah, so I meant to point that out okay. earlier. Yeah, I put that my, really um, hurt. my headphone um, holder on that side of the desk. Are you alright? Uh, yeah, but my knuckles are really hurting. Can I move it? No. Okay. You just have to be careful with it. Okay. I would have put it over on that side where it usually is, but it gets in the way of the, um... I have a standing desk. Which is really great for, you know, if you're working all day, you want to be in different positions ideally, not like sitting the whole time. But the handle's over there and it gets in the way. Mm. We are much happier in Pennsylvania than we were in Florida. We had a great house in Florida, but... Oh it's geez, even with the us. guard, he took four health. Was that a successful guard? Yes. Yeah, that's okay. pretty scary. I don't understand. Like, I oh got, I'm so rusty that I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Um. Well, if this is an enemy that you haven't tattled on, it may be worth. I was going to do that, but let me uh tattle just, uh, on this just guy. to figure out like. So yeah. Can, just in case. We, I don't anticipate having another gap in our okay. uh, recording. Oh, he's easy. But uh, you can create it split in two. Max HP seems like they won't attack directly. Well, I think that's just one of the little ones inside his bubble. And he'll keep spawning them. Oh, yeah, I meant to get the main... God, I'm so confused. Oh, okay. Perfect. What does he? Re you know what he reminds me of? Do you know those um, fidget toys he used to get me? That would like spin. Yeah. Because of my um, d depending on the day, I have restless hand syndrome. It used to be a lot worse, and Eos would um, buy me these little hand fidget toys that you could spin and squeeze and do all these things. And uh, they they actually really helped. <gasps> now all I can think about is having one. <laughs> right now. Do I don't want, know where they I all have, went. I have a fidget spinner that my sister gave me. 
It's like as I started talking about it, I could feel myself starting to like squeeze my own hands. Okay, I don't understand why and, he, uh, the main fidget spinner, is not taking damage. I think you need to destroy his bubble. But mm -hmm. it also looks like he, um, well, they have health bars because you just told on them. Okay, let me try the fire flower and just see what happens. It's gonna really suck if I, uh... Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. I don't- oh jeez, I don't understand this. It looks like you need to take out the little thing. Yeah, you can't attack him until his bubble's gone. So, okay. um, something that I would do here is um, use Mario to take out the little guy, and then use Gumbella to take out uh, to attack him once his bubble explodes, just to get the ordering of things. Because um, if you take out his little guy with Gumbella, he has the opportunity to um, refortify his shield. That makes sense. Yeah. So now it's going to disappear, and now you can attack him with Gumbella. Gotta be kidding me. But that so seems like the, if you're just gonna use normal attacks, that seems like the most effective strategy to deal with this yeah, guy. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, because it's just because I don't have FP. Oh. Perfect. That should be it. Okay. Well, that was a hell of a lot of damage. But it's all right. We're we're getting back into the groove of this yeah. game. It does have its difficult battles. From uh, it's tricky. I've I've, it's I've seen tricky. this game played before, and um, you know it it starts off it's it's very grindy and it starts off pretty easy. But the battles like um, the combat system is pretty complex, especially with the badge uh, mechanics. <laughs> oh, he can attack you from afar. Yeah, that... Uh, I kind of like that. Okay, I do want to get an HP reading on these guys. Yeah. That's always good to know. For okay. RPG battles, anyway. So, I'm gonna tattle. Just so I know. Okay, HP 3, attack 2, defense 0, appears in the great tree! Alright. Oh, we are in the Great Tree. Yeah, it's the Dick Yeah, we're, we're picking up right after we found that secret entrance. <laughs> what do you think he... Okay, huge attack power not boosted. Okay, of course. I think I want to title on this guy as well. Just so we know what we're dealing with. Okay. Classified as an enemy combatant. Oh, I just realized I made like dumb voices for these. I think I gave her like a really obnoxious high voice, but I haven't been uh, voicing her. I'm- I also real. I'm like so focused as I try to get my game back. Yeah, just- uh, yeah, focus on the reorientation. Uh-huh. Oh, snap. I think this is one of my Whew. more favorite backgrounds. With like the- I do like the white trees. And the, like, blues. Uh, in the setting back there. Just I'm, I'm a fan of icy aesthetics in general. Yeah, me too. I like the. I don't know if that's what they're going contrast. for, but I'm not sure what they're going for. Shoot! Wait, poor Mario is not doing so great at the moment. I think you can do it. So I believe. Um... Oh, I'm wasting a turn. 
Dang it. I should have hit can the little he, baby. Can he spawn more than one of those things at a time? Yeah. I'm not so sure. I think I can only spawn one. You can take out the other one with Gumbella. Yeah, I And then you can I restart the, the cycle that you used for the last battle. Yeah. Because he's going to bring those back after he attacks you. Yep. Okay, thank god. Yeah. I feel okay. like if he could actually spawn two, he would be doing it. Oh, yay. The charm that I paid for. That's cool. What did it boost? It boosted attack. Oh, good. By three. I need to heal Mario. You can kill him first. Oh, I know. I'm just saying I need to heal him because he's low. He is low. But while we haven't been recording Sun and Eos, there's uh, plenty of content on the channel. Some with commentary, others uh, with not. Yeah. Uh, just with me doing walkthroughs. There's a lot of Forspoken on the channel right now. That game is awesome. You should check it, check it out uh, if, if you don't know of it. <gasps> and... Um, I backtracked. That, that game has amazing like combat mechanics. I was really happy to... I played through that game f uh, fully uh, twice. And uh, I'm really glad I did. It has one of the best like world movement or like world traversal uh, systems that I've experienced in a game. Like just with her movements, like how quickly she can cover ground. I was very, very impressed by that. And the combat gets a little bit uh, redundant. Uh, over time, but I do think it's varied enough to be interesting for 50 plus hours of gameplay. But you can go check that series out. It's uh, no commentary, and I've got a few uh, Tomb Raider games. I've been exploring the Tomb Raider remaster. It's a little bit more. Yeah, check out Solid Sun's gameplay. It actually knows how to play video games. Oh. I mean that oh, series. Well, like, like, look at no, this. No, this, this is going well. <laughs> You've survived to... Uh, uh, battles with some a uh, lot harder enemies than I remember when we started the series. But I recently did a uh, so for the original Tomb Raider games, there's a challenge called the No Loads, No Meds, All Secrets uh, challenge, which means that you play um, one of the original Tomb Raider games all the way through uh, without loading the game, without using a single med, and you get all the secrets. And it's just a way to make the game harder um, if you're like really familiar with it and you want the extra challenge, but I've got a guide for completing that challenge for the uh, Tomb Raider 2 Golden Mask. And I also completed the challenge, uh, which is up on YouTube and you can watch that video. Uh, both of those have um, my own commentary on it. And I was pretty happy with how they turned out. So I don't usually put commentary on walkthroughs, but I think I'm gonna start doing it for just a few select games. Big brother. He looks. He looks how I felt after driving that truck for like eighteen hours. He's just. He's just like I don't yeah. care that I'm locked in here. Yeah. And his his little head bobble is just too heavy for him. Oh, look at them. They're like the. We may have mentioned this on a previous episode, but they remind me of Pikmin. They, yeah, wanna, you I did just wanna, mention that. I want to chuck them. You like, want to chuck cliff. the Pikmin? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the best thing. That's what you do with Pikmin. You chuck them at things. Really? Over a cliff? Well, no, not necessarily. But you can chuck them at things that you want them to carry. You can even, I think you can use them as ammunition, too. You just chuck them at enemies, like big bullets. We've got can to you? find the call keys or we're going nowhere. The ah. wire is uh, brushing my leg and tickling it. Let's talk to this set. Yeah, we, um, the first video that we recorded in our new house with our new setup was our uh, monthly exclusive for our Patreon, which if you don't know about that, we put up exclusive videos, uh, sometimes even just new 
uh, Sun and Eos uh, gaming series, uh, but we usually just kind of add um, uh, add videos that you can only see on Patreon to already existing like YouTube uh, series like uh, Mario Party. You can get extra content uh, for our Mario Party series and some Binding of Isaac and uh, The Lion King. And it's only $5 a month if you want the exclusive content. Look at me, I'm... But, um, We've been pretty happy with uh, what we what we've done on Patreon. Uh, yeah, you get I... a monthly exclusive video, and you, you don't know what that is until we post it. But they're they're us they're they're a lot of fun, and uh, we have our camera on, and you can see us. You can see all the disapproving looks I get from Crystal Eos when I, I don't give me disapproving do looks. awful annoying voices that I used to do like <laughs> earlier on in the show. I like his parallel fourths. Like oh, chatter. yeah, yeah. It's a little eerie. Oh, I, I like her. That's good character design with the heart on the tail. Oh, I didn't notice. Like, yeah, her tail like bends up and traces a heart. Oh, I see. It's yeah. kind of like on The Simpsons, like Matt Groening's initials are Homer's like side hair and the ear. You always see MG on Homer Simpson's head. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it's built into the character design. It's very clever. She so. just kissed Mario. The Simpsons Goombella. is a lot more subtle than this, but... Goombella is so jealous of everybody who's like... This character is just oh Goombella's jealous. Yeah. Wait, who's she jealous? She likes She's Mario. Jealous of the mouse because he just like he just got kissed by the mouse. She's ju she's, she's jealous. jealous of the mouse. Uh, she likes Mario though. It seems that way. That's interesting. Because she's like the first is, time. Is she aware her, of she um, hounds about Peach? Is remember? she aware of how Mario has treated her species over the years? <laughs> I don't think she cares. Maybe she's into that. You know. Oh. Maybe it's I like see. like. You know how in like fantasy fiction, the guy is always like super like protective, but also kind of evil, and you know, they're Bro like broody, dark and broody. I think is the yeah. Well, all like you know, even like contemporary romance, it all stems from uh, Pride and Prejudice. You know, Jane Austen, the mother of romance, contemporary romance, and uh, you know, usually in fiction and fantasy, like the male love interest primarily is going to be some dark brooding guy. Oh boy, another fight. There's a lot of- I, I notice it's thoughts. especially broody if it's like a supernatural story like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Twilight. He's got something back there. Yeah, I gotta get rid of him. Fast. Can, can he use that against you, or is oh, that yeah. just something no, you get? Oh yeah, no, he will. Oh, okay. If I don't super attack, okay, good. I get to keep that now that I defeated him. I'll show you. I've been needing a fire flower. Yeah. Oh, he also had a key. Where's his fire flower? Oh, I saw you the may. Red key. Yeah, I didn't catch what happened to it. It may be in your inventory. I'm wondering if it's something that you have to um, obtain manually, like during the battle. Otherwise, it's just gone afterwards. But it's little things like that that make this game really interesting. I like this room a lot. Yeah, me too. I'm just making sure I haven't missed anything. This looks like stuff to interact with. Uh, I can unlock this. They have all the Pikmin turn to him like, what's this? Sit down this instant and keep your mouth shut. Huh, why? What'd I do? Uh, listen, Elder, I don't know why you're mad, but we came here to help you. Stop your mumbling, you, and mind your elders, you whelp. 
How could you abandon your poor sister and run off like that? Absolutely shameful. But Elder, I just went to find help, to rescue you. Oh, stop with the whining. You never interrupt an Elder mid-lecture. Never. never. Wow. You wonder. you wonder why the other punies call you a doofus sometimes. That's why. And your time to be a doofus is over. Because you have to lead our puny tribe one day. That day is not far off, and that is why you need to listen. Now, first of all... So, oh, first of all... You got that? From now on, you've got to get your act together, Punio. Yes, Elder. I understand Solid completely. Solid Sun's voice acting is so serious today. It's throwing but me say, off. But say, by the way, why are you here anyway? Well, we've been... We've been intermittently watching our VLR series. And uh, I don't know what, what the fuck I was on for that whole series. But. You were like so checked out for that series. I think that was what it was. You were very like- Well, I was, like, I was also like, going through, attention. I was also going through a lot at the time, like trying to complete a PhD and it was driving me nuts a little bit. And VLR? also trying to get a job. No, VLR yeah. wasn't driving me nuts. It's just that was like my downtime, and I. Yeah, you were like. Checking. I was a little over the top, it's... and it comes across as really obnoxious most of the time. So <laughs> apolo okay. apologies for that. I have maybe that maybe. I mean, it's a great game. What definitely watch for the game, but maybe watch it on mute. No. So... <laughs> just you wait, puny. Okay, big brother, I'll be waiting. We need to find the blue key, right, Mario? Let's go downstairs and ask the elder if she knows anything. Oh boy. And hope the answer is, you know, brief. Oh, we have to go back, backtrack again. Do you know if Luigi or any of the other, um, like, uh, does Peach or Luigi join your party in this game? I have no idea. Yeah. Peach is on her own quest right now. These, these are all like very, I think these are all like she's, Paper Mario exclusive characters. She's got her foot only fans she's, to maintain. So she has her what? She's got her foot What? Only what is fans this now? To maintain. She's got an OnlyFans? Well, I would assume so, given that... Um, With her one fan? Well, you watch her shower. There's nothing sadder than an OnlyFans account only having one fan. That when would be my account if I ever got one. When the name it would have of, one fan. When the name of the platform is in the plural sense, like fans. Yeah. Like, that's... That's pretty sad. Well, um, it looks like someone like whack a mold him, and he hasn't quite bounced back. <laughs> you heard me. I can't say I expected you to manage to rescue the elder. I told you I could do it. Don't get a swelled head. This doesn't mean I'll accept you as our leader. And it definitely doesn't mean I completely trust that mustache guy either. That's discrimination. For starters, you still haven't rescued the other punies yet. Not all of your Pikmin survived this mission. I'm not lifting an antenna to help until you do. Despicable, how dare you talk like that knowing what we're up against. I need a tissue. That was a little scary. Oh, I can get you a tissue. Are the nearest tissues in the bathroom? Yeah. I need a tissue for my issue. The weirdo soldiers taking over our tree were bad enough, but now the Jebby tribe is helping them. We must stand together now. We must face them. My eyes are watering so bad. Uh, don't you understand that? What, the Jebbies or the intruders have joined forces? Then maybe the Jebbies have the blue key. I walked into the bathroom expecting... <laughs> Mind me, you're here, you have a statue. I, I accidentally walked into the bedroom because I keep forgetting the layout of the house. Uh, yeah. And I was like about to hand it to you, and I got like, I had like a heart drop moment. It's like, was, <laughs> well, it's like my whole world just like turned upside down and my stomach flipped. Oh, so I was God, like, what happened to the, the what happened to the setup? Where's our, where's my wife? It's, oh no, I'm still here. Just crying up a storm. I like being dramatic. Shut your trap, Puniper and Punio. And mind me, you hear. What'd you say your name was again? It was... Marty! Marty? Wasn't it? Wait, where was I? I was a little closer to the mic. Hey, how you doing? 
It's Mario. Yes, yeah, simmer down, you and everyone else. Help Mario clear out our tree. All right, Elder, whatever you say. I'm not heartless or anything, to tell you the truth. I'm worried about Petu Petuni too. And you're right, we have no choice. We must fight, right? Yes. There you go, There you go. Please. That's the spirit. <laughs> Let's all be prepared Ten for the- Ten punies joined your party? Hunted through the goal line by Mario. This is not chaos. Oh, great. I keep hitting this thing, by the way. But look at it on the- Yeah, I- it's- I know. It hurts. It's new. I don't like it. I can actually see, like, when you hit it, the lights on the microphone, like, go off like fireworks. Oh. And that's gonna sound really great on the capture. I can't wait. Hey, if you're done rallying everyone, I have a question. Oh, that's Gumbella. You should voice her. We're looking for this crystal stone thing in Beijing. Ever heard of it? Uh, uh, let me tell you how much I missed that voice. Oh, I'm sure you did. The crystal star, eh? Yes, perhaps. Hidden down beneath the bottom of this tree is a funny colored stone. <sighs> but what do we do with it? Guard it from evil and give it to a pure heart. Is that me? Yep. That's what generations of elders have been Are you gonna get me taught. another stone? Might be the crystal star. What kind of stone do you want? Um. Marty, I'm calling it. Your heart seems pure enough, so that funny colored stone is yours. Oh, it's that easy? They should have given it to Mario. He's the pure hearted hero. You got all that Mario crystal star beneath the bottom of the tree, go to it. Oh, are they? Oh, wait, is Marty Mario? Yeah. Is that? Oh, Marty. I keep calling okay. him Marty. Hold your horses, I forgot something. Before you can get the Crystal Star, you must save all the captured punies. You'll never get to that gem without the help of the punies. Not a chance. So this is so Pikmin. They are Pikmin. Okay. So here, you better take this. It's the puny orb, it's the symbol of our leader. Oh, it's me. If you place this in the pedestals, pedestals you see around the tree, the punies will gather. Just remember to take the orb with you when you're done using it. Because if you don't, everyone will just kind of hang out and stare at the orb. It's like the magical, like, um, I can't remember on SpongeBob, it was like the magical conch or a magical orb where they just stared at it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Are you ready, Mario? For the sake of the puny tribe's future, you mustn't click through the things oh, too fast. Thing. And one more thing. So sorry, I've been awfully forgetful as of late. On your way to the Crystal Star, if you lose any of the punies, just come see me. What I'll do is give a whistle to call him back here. You got all that? Okay, so we can't lose any of these. I would have like, preferred events. if he just gave Mario a like Pikmin whistle. So you don't have to do like the backtracking. Do we want to end the episode here? Yeah, next time on Sony Neos Gaming. Yeah, we're going to take these we'll, punies on a journey. We'll and, puny um, it up. We're going to throw them off the cliff just like Pikmin. I think watch that's them, exactly what's going to happen. I think you called it. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.